Today on Jeff Does What, I'm going to show you how I put together this. Great carve. Acrylic. Laser enclosure. Coming up. So with this great carve enclosure, as you see, everything's clearly labeled. We have all of our brackets, little toolbox, vent port. Let's get it all together. Now, if we're putting this together, we're gonna to wanna to peel back our backing on here just a little bit. That way, if we're putting it together, we don't, we're not worried about scuffing this up. It is gonna to need to be pulled all the way off when we're all said and done. But what we're gonna do is just loosen a little bit. We're gonna take some of our L brackets and we're gonna lightly bolt them all together on our bottom four panels. And so we'll take these screws, put them in there, put the bracket on and then get our nuts. and get them started just like that. Now, like I said, they do supply Allen screws and salt or Allen wrenches. I have my own just to make things a little faster and easier on myself. Because if you can make it easier on yourself, might as well do it. So I'm gonna get these brackets on and I'll be right back with you. Now with these brackets, what I did, I just have these loosely on here so whenever I go to attach my side pieces, I can get this lined up and get a nice, clean, straight edge on here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the, well, this is the front piece right here. I wanna put the back, the brackets on the back piece as well, and then we'll come through and get our side pieces on that. We'll get everything lined up and then we'll fully tighten all these down. All right, now that we got all of our brackets on our front and rear panels, we're gonna take our side panel and just line it up and basically do the same thing. Put our bolts in, get them all lightly tightened down. And then once we have everything square, we'll come through and get all these torqued to the specs we need them to be. Now, as you're doing this, like I said, as long as you have everything pretty close, it does make it real easy on getting these side ones on. Like I said, these, the brackets for the front and the back, they took me about five minutes total to get them all on here like i said now all we're we're just trying to do is get this loosely together right now because if it's out of alignment or one of the brackets aren't lining up right you don't want to have to go back and untighten stuff and just make it more of a pain for yourself as you're working so just make it easier on yourself don't fully tighten this until everything is lined up Because when you go to square this off, you don't want to be fighting it. Especially being acrylic. Acrylic can break really easy if you try to force it. Because you're talking plastic. Now this is some thicker plastic or thicker acrylic. But just want to save you some headache on here and some time in the process, so. Also, while you're putting this together, be sure to make sure these cutouts are in the right location because I almost put this backwards where these weren't gonna be right. Now, would it affect the outcome? I'm not sure, but wanna make sure you have them in the right location as you're working on it. All right, now that we got basically our main frame put together, before we start to put our top and stuff on, we're gonna put our exhaust port on, our fan X-take, whatever you wanna call it. So right here, this was, we're gonna end up attaching a blower motor to this to pull whatever smoke or fumes out of this enclosure to help keep cleaner air around the shop. Now, as you are putting all this in, even when you are gonna fully tighten everything down, make sure you don't over tighten because we don't want to crack acrylic. Like I said, it is, I keep wanting to say, remind you, do not over tighten because acrylic can crack fairly easy. 
Because, like I said, some acrylics will hold up better than others. But at the same time, you don't want to chance it and throw your money down the drain. Now, I'm lucky Great Carve sent this to me to test out and use around my shop because they noticed I had a lot of open diode lasers and most of my filming, they saw smoke going wherever with it. And they wanted to help out and send this to me for the channel. That way, I'm not inhaling poisonous fumes depending on what I am messing with. Because whether it's acrylic, wood, plastic, metals, I mean, you don't want to breathe any of that in. Now, in this next part, we got more of these L brackets to install. Like I said, we got one on each side over here and one back here at the very back. And it's going to install the same way with the same uh, nuts and screws we've been using. So I'm going to get these installed and see you here in just a second. Now the next part of this project is installing the back part of our lid. Now with these three brackets we put on up inside, that is where this fixed attachment is gonna attach. And along with it, we also have some hinges that will attach right here as well. Now, as you see, we have our first set of hinges bolted on, Just showing you how this is coming together. We had these little screws that went down back in this corner and we attach everything with these L brackets and to get the first part of our lid. Now, like I said, this has two more parts to fold everything up to make it where we can load and unload stuff so fairly easy. Now we got our, our second part of our lid. It's gonna set on up here as well. We'll bolt these hinges and bolt one more set of hinges onto this. Now for this last hinge we have to install, it is actually gonna be installed on the inside. So right now I'm somewhat just trying to line this up and I want to come up from underneath to attach my hinge to make sure I have everything lined up exactly how I want it, keeping it all square, keeping it where all my gapping looks the same, just to give that more professional looking outcome where all my joints and everything line up like they should. Like I said, this is where you, will have, you might have to have a second person on this to help you out, so on the whole backup out here, but in the end result, would make it a lot nicer, especially with all your gappings and everything matching like they should. Time for me to have some fun. Now with this, we only have one more thing to install, and that'll be our handle. Like I said, it'll be using some of these bolts that they have in here. And once we have this, this thing is ready for use. So let me get this on there and show you how it works. Now, with this great carve unit, like I said, we have an area to, for our exhaust, our extract fumes right here. So we'll end up attaching some ports to this. Now, when we need to load and unload material, this opens pretty wide. I will have no issue getting stuff in here. Close is good. We have a nice, good seal all the way around this. Like I said, it ain't a perfect seal, but for what we're doing, a thousand times better then no container at all. And like I said, once you have exhaust on this, I got a Inkbird um, fan out that will be installing on this in the, at some point in the near future. But it's definitely gonna make things a lot safer and better for your health in the long haul. Now, just to show y'all, I put my Atomsec X24 Pro off in here and I still have a lot more room in there. Now this is one of my smaller diodes as far as footprints. But you can tell I still have about two inches all the way around. So I can go bigger. And as far as taller, oh, we got plenty of room in there. Now along with this, Great Carve did also send these right here to sit down and off in the bottom of it so I can have my laser sitting on something that way it's not sitting directly on whatever wood I'm messing with and something to give us a little bit more added protection. I'd like to thank Gray Carr for sending this out to me. I know I'll definitely like it. My lungs will definitely like it a whole lot more because clean air and health is far more important than 
just anything. I mean, your health is what keeps you alive. I mean, if you're constantly breathing bad fumes, anything like that, it is not going to help you help out your lungs or just your life. And I mean, a lot of stuff involved with it. And this right here is definitely going to help help out. I do hate that it's going to hinder some of the videos as far as trying to film, but hey, it is part of it. And I'd much rather be able to breathe better and not smell acrylic while I'm trying to cut out on something on a diode. If you're liking this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see this in action real soon, as you see, we got the Atom Sack X24 Pro in here that is coming up real soon, which we are going to be testing out this great carve unit with. And as always, y'all take it easy.